Source Code is a really, really cool sci-fi movie with fantastic acting and definitely has you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic, I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Source Code, which is a really cool action thriller science fiction movie, which is a bit of a blend of loads of things that you have seen before, however it definitely has its own original storyline in this movie too and it does definitely keep you guessing throughout the entire movie and does have some really really cool moments, excellent character development and some really cool themes and I really really like the open-ended ending in this movie as well. However, I do feel like it definitely could have packed a much bigger punch in this movie and I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this movie review. So the storyline in Source Code is all around an army pilot who keeps reliving eight minutes ahead of a train explosion happening in a computer simulated program called Source Code and the film then explores if this character is going to be successful in working out who is the murderer and who is the bomber that is exploding the train as it constantly resets. And it also explores who this character actually is, why was he chosen for this source code, what on earth is even source code, and also has a human heart-based relationship with this character and a girl on a train who keeps resetting herself so it explores whether or not they are actually going to be able to get together in this world and it also explores really interesting themes of regret and second chances. Now from a positive point of view, I absolutely love the murder mystery angle that this film has in terms of working out who is the murderer on this train also. It has a really mind-bending and unexpected twist happening right at the end of this movie and ultimately is just really, really intriguing. You're really with the lead character as he is trying to work out who the murderer is and also trying to work out what on earth source code is and like I said, you're really with him, which is really, really cool. However, from a negative point of view, I do feel like they could have just made so much more from this premise. And I definitely do feel like it's screaming out for a sequel as this world can definitely be fleshed out and built out a lot more. And even though the end of this movie has a really cool unexpected twist, I definitely feel they could have had a few more twists in this movie. But you know, ultimately from a storyline point of view, it is actually pretty solid. <laughs> So from a cast and characters point of view, Source Code has a relatively tight group of cast and characters as it is pretty small in scale, but actually it works really, really well as you're definitely with all of these characters. Speaking of which, the main lead character is led by Jake Gyllenhaal and he plays a US Army pilot that is constantly being reset in this train explosion situation. And like I said before, Jake Gyllenhaal does such a good job in this movie as you're really with this character as he's trying to work out why he's in this situation, what on earth his situation even is. And then just ultimately being a bit of an action hero, trying to save all these passengers, trying to work out who this terrorist bomber is, trying to stop him and also having a bit of a romantic love storyline in this movie as well. Speaking of which, we then have Michelle Monaghan who is playing this character that is constantly being reset every single time and he only has eight minutes to try and save everything and build a bit of a connection with this character. And it's really intriguing as this character thinks that she knows Jake Gyllenhaal's character, but ultimately she doesn't. I won't spoil why, but it's just really, really intriguing. Next up we have Vera Farmiga, who does such a good job in terms of being the somewhat spooky voice behind Source Code. And you're just really questioning what on earth is going on. You're literally asking that question as the Jake Gyllenhaal character is across this movie. And Vera Farmiga just does a really, really good job in terms of adding that spooky factor. And then finally, we have Jeffrey Wright, who is the ruthless creator of Source Code. And he definitely does do some very questionable things in this movie. So like I said, from a cast and character's point of view, it is very, very focused. But actually, it works really, really well as it therefore means that you're really with all of these characters. And you can just explore everything with them really, really well in Source Code. <laughs> So whilst I definitely feel like they could have done a lot more with the premise of Source Code from a visuals point of view, this movie is actually pretty solid. It's really interesting as at some points it's really, really confined space. For example, the Source Code area as well as the train that is constantly being reset as well. All of those Groundhog Day resetting moments are really, really intriguing. And all of the action hero moments are really, really great as well. For example, the train exploding. All of the scene where Jake Gyllenhaal's character is running after who he thinks the murderer is, is really, really intriguing. And also just those mystery clue finding moments are really, really cool as well. Like I said, you're definitely with this character 
as he's trying to piece everything together. And I do feel like the visuals really do bring all of that to life. So from a comparison point of view, I definitely feel like Source Code is a bit of a blend of a couple of movies. So for example, Groundhog Day, Murder on the Orient Express, Deja Vu and The Butterfly Effect. Now I think it's a lot stronger than Transcendence, Predestination and Time Lapse. And I think it's on the same level as Arrival, Oblivion, Looper and Limitless. So whilst I definitely feel like there's a lot of movies that you can compare Source Code to, I definitely feel like it's pretty much in the middle. So overall, I really enjoyed Source Code. I feel like it's a really tight sci-fi movie. I really loved all of the murder mystery aspects and I definitely feel like it had me guessing and had me on the edge of my seat throughout. Now, I do feel like they could have made things a little bit better in terms of the premise, some of the twists and turns. And like I said before, it definitely is screaming out for a sequel. But you know, all in all, I definitely feel like it is an enjoyable movie. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.